Hi, I'm Brian Whitaker I'm with Installation Materials. Today we're going to talk about retro fan wiring. We're not going to get into testing, safety, or codes today. We're going to assume that everything has been tested and power is off. In these scenarios, we're going to show changing out simple bath fans to bath fans that do continuous and spot ventilation. We will be featuring Panasonic Whisper Green Select fans. These fans are designed to do continuous and spot ventilation. They have some special features. So this can give you different wiring scenarios. The two fans we will be wiring are the FV0511 VKS1 and the FV0511 VKSL1. These fans are what Panasonic calls plug and play. You can add different devices to each fan. The devices you can choose from are the LED night light, a condensation sensor, a motion sensor. There is also a multi-speed timer. In our case, the multi-speed timer is pre-installed in our fans. The fan we are wiring is a Panasonic Whisper Green Select FV0511 VKS1. This fan comes with a multi-speed timer pre-installed. We have added the motion sensor which will activate the fan whenever someone enters the room. This is how we will achieve spot ventilation. We will need to bring non-switched constant power to this fan. Okay, now the wiring, this is going to be very simple. Uh, we have power that is being fed to the box, and then it's taking the power up to the fan just, just through the switch here. So all we have to do in this scenario, since we're going to use a motion sensor, is just simply unscrew the switch out of the box. Our neutrals and ground are already pigtailed together. We're just simply going to come in here and cut these wires. Cut this ground wire. That ground wire we're just going to stuff back in the box. The two black wires here are now when we're going to wire nut them together it's going to take constant power up to that fan where the motion sensor will control it. So we're just simply going to put those two wires together, stuff them back in this box. We're going to add a blank cover and now we have constant power to the fan. Okay we're up here in the attic and now I'm going to show you I'm just removing the wires from the old fan. We're going to take them into the new fan. Just remember that down below we junction the, the black wires together so now when the breaker is turned back on we will have constant power at this wire. So I'm just going to show you we're simply going to unhook the wiring from the old fan and take it to the new fan. <clears throat> so we're just going to go ground to ground neutral to neutral and hot wire to hot wire So we've got that hooked up, but what you also see, which is confusing to everybody, is these two red, what they call signal wires. So since we're using a motion sensor, we're not going to use these red signal wires. We are going to wire nut those off individually. And then all those wires will just get stuffed back in the box. So now we have this fan. When we turn the breaker on, we'll have constant power. It will be running at a, a low continuous CFM and it will also be activated by that motion sensor when anybody walks into the room and then it will ramp up and tackle spot ventilation. <laughs> 